Hello and welcome to this edition of our Features and Functions Guide. Today I'm going to be going over the Kia Forte. We'll take a look at the key fob, it's got remote start. Just make sure you lock the vehicle, hold this button in for two to three seconds, and the car will start. You have your lock button up top, unlock beneath on the bottom, tailgate button, you just hold that in for a couple seconds, that tailgate will pop open, and you also have your horn and lights. Now for the tailgate, there's three ways to open it. You have the one on the key fob. You have that there. And then also in the rear here next to the camera, you have this little button here that'll also open it. And then the third is up front to the left side of the driver's seat. There's a little lever that'll open the tailgate as well. All right, power seating for the driver. This can move it forward as well as back. You can move the seat up, push it back down. This one in the middle is for the back there. Go forward and backward. And then this circular one is for the lumbar support. You might not really see this one much in the video, but that'll adjust your lumbar support. And then down here, that is where I mentioned this is your trunk your lift gate there, and then your gas cap is also right down here as well. All right, let's go in depth in the steering wheel here. So on the left side, this is where you have your Bluetooth settings, voice recognition, volume control for the radio, the mode, you can switch the stations. So this is your voice recognition up here, top left corner, mode, that'll change the radio, AM, FM, Sirius radio. You have your volume here with this button here, up or down, and then this can toggle between your stations. And then down here, that's where you can pick up phone calls, call somebody. And then you also have the option for favorites that you can set there. Let's go over to the right side. Now these are your cruise control settings. So this is your cruise control button up here. This edition, this trim level GT line comes pretty fully loaded. It's not quite the top trim level. There's one more above this, um, but this comes with smart cruise control and stop and go. Now this button down here in the bottom right corner is where you can set up to three car lengths distance um, to where the vehicle will stop. Now here, this is your lane keeping assist. You can turn this on or off. That'll steer you back into the center of the roadway if you drive on a line or over a line. This is the speed you can set for your cruise control. And then this button up here in the top left corner, this changes what you see up in the center here of this display. And then the OK button up or down is how you can toggle between all that stuff there. Trip info, digital miles per hour, compass, all that fun stuff there. And then on the left side, you know, you have your, uh, your battery level cold to hot rpms on the left side fuel level on the right side and then in the center you have your distance to empty that's that 29 up there up top and then in the bottom right corner of that display 20 miles that's how how many miles are on the vehicle bottom left corner you have the temp and then you can see that we're in park with that p right there now here on the driver's side door is where you have all your window functions child lock lock and unlock also your window options there left right you move them all side to side up down all that good stuff and over here next to the steering wheel this button here with a little light bulb plus or minus sign this is for the brightness on the display right up here I'm pushing that up and down and as you can see it's getting brighter or dimmer now this button here lit up that's your blind spot detection. You can turn that off. If you choose, the light is indicating that it's on. Now this one here, this is your traction control. You can turn that off if you'd like. Now down here to the left of the driver, you have your pedals. This is your fuse box here. And then down there, that's for the hood to pop that open as well. All right down here, this is where the shifter is. You have that there, down low here. This P, this is your electronic parking brake. Auto hold, what that does is, if you're stopped and you wanna take your foot off the brake, 
If this is engaged, that'll keep you in place with your foot off of the brake. Now up top, both the driver and the passenger have heated front seats as well as ventilated front seats. You each have three levels of that. You can also turn it all the way off if you just hold it in. That'll turn it off. Drive mode, so this one, this GT Line Forte, has normal, sport and smart. Normal is just a very basic standard driving mode. Sport, it's just some increased acceleration. It's gonna be a little bit quicker. And then what smart does, that adapts to how you drive personally as, as an individual. So maybe if you're stepping on the gas a little bit, it's gonna put you in sport. And as you're coasting, it's probably gonna put you in normal. So at any given time, it's gonna put you in at any of those other two driving modes, which is pretty cool. Now over here in front of the shifter, you have a little storage area, and this is also kind of your charging station over here. So down low, you have a 12 volt port on the left. In the middle there, that USB, that is for your plug-in for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. That'll also charge your phone as well. And then over on the right side, you have another USB just for charging. And then up top, right here, this is a wireless charging pad. This little backwards P will light up orange when you know that it's charging. It'll let you know. Have your very standard dual climate control here. I've got it on 80 right now. It's a little rainy, but you have, you know, each side here, it's unsynced, so I can go to 74 if I wanted to. Right side's 80 still. You can sync the two if you want. It's gonna go towards the driver. You can turn the AC on here. You have your fan level here if you want to turn it up or down. The frosters, your mode here will change. And then air circulation towards the back there on the right side. All right, let's go over the 10.25 inch touch screen here. This is your main page home screen here. Got some settings here and then a second page of settings there. So here's your volume control and your power control. On the right side, that's your knob for the tuning. You can change the stations that way, as well as seeking and tracking right there. There's a favorites button. You also have your radio, media, and setup if you don't wanna go through here to get all to all that. And then also you have your map and navigation. So let's go to the map. And then if you wanna go to your navigation menu, that's where you can search all your points of interest. You have Kia dealerships in there. Check out traffic, homework, and three favorites. You can set favorites, so the way you do that is I can go into home, and then you search it, and then when you actually search it, it's gonna save it in place of that spot there that you just clicked from on the bottom there. Again, you've got some settings here, your map and navigation, which I showed you. Phone is for your Bluetooth phone projection. That is for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which you have to be plugged in for to the USB port down low here. Voice memo, climate settings, valet mode. What that does is when that's activated, it locks your center consoles and your glove box. So if you ever give your keys to valet, it will lock all of that for you. Quiet mode will only play the music in the front seats at a certain level and it won't play the music in the back. So if you have any kids or anybody sleeping in the back, gives them some comfort. HD radio data, your radio has a capability of being HD, HD radio data. You can also check the Doppler radar, fuel prices for gas, traffic conditions, which is pretty neat. And then again, you have your radio and your media. If you, um, you know, radio, AM, FM, you have Sirius as well. And then media, um, you know, if you're using your Bluetooth or plugged in, um, you can play your music, podcasts, all that stuff that way. Now, setup. Setup's nice because you can adjust a lot of other things more in depth, like your sound, vehicle, um, you, Kia Connect. You can have user profiles for two different drivers, three different drivers, voice recognition. You can uh, change your display or the screen layout. So let's go in a vehicle because there's a lot of nice things you can do in here.
like adjust your driver assistance technology. So you can see a few things up here, driving assistance, forward safety, driver attention warning, lane safety. So let's go into lane safety. Now it's on the active assist, but that also gives you the warning as well. So it automatically assists with the steering to help prevent the vehicle from leaving the lane. And it also provides the warning when the vehicle leaves the lane. So you can adjust this if you'd like. You can go to just the warning if you want, or you can turn this feature all the way off if you'd like. Now you can do this with all of your other safety technology as well. Forward safety, blind spot, parking safety. There's a lot of nice things you can do there and adjust you know, to however it works best for you. You can adjust all of these safety features. And then again, you've got some other things here like cluster, you can pick a theme for the cluster over here on the left side. You can change that there. You can turn on a, a welcome sound if you'd like. It's like a, a, a nice little chime when you open the door. Recirculate air, automatic ventilation, defrost options. Now lights, high beam assist. You can have a welcome light, door settings. You can have a smart trunk. You can turn that on, opens the trunk trunk automatically when the, approaching the trunk with the smart key. Now that's a feature that's usually always gotta be turned on. It's never turned on when we take delivery of these vehicles when they first get dropped off. But these are just some options that you can change um, in that vehicle setting right there. And then let's go into general. Now this is where you can do uh, your, like your computer updates for like the touch screen here, because this is practically a computer. Um, you got some other system info. You can go to a, the user's manual, modem information, storage information, date and time if you ever need to adjust the date or the time. You can change the language if you need to, adjust the keyboard, all that good stuff there. Let's go over here, oh, still in there. Scroll to the other side, that's where you have your Kia Connect. Again, your user's manual. Kia Connect, now that's Kia's app. Now it's called, the app itself is actually called Kia Access, but you can use that for remote start, climate control, unlock, lock the car, all from your app. Check vehicle diagnostics. You can see your fuel level, you know, how full your tank is, how many miles are on your car, all that fun stuff there. Now, if we haven't set this up for you already, Kia Connect, the way you set it up is you go into there, and then you go into Kia Connect settings down here. You basically, on the app, create your account, and then it's going to take you to a screen where it gives you a pass key, like a key code, and then you um, input that here on the screen, and then um, the Kia Connect should be activated from there. You have your hazards there. That's how you close or open the vents. Push start button right here. Right above the driver here, this is where you have sunglass holder, lights. That one will turn both lights on. This one is on the right side for when a door is open, it'll turn the lights on. You have your sun roof adjustment there. Now the shade is manual, I'll push that back. And it's a rainy day today, so I'm not gonna fully open it, but it's very basic, push it back push it forward, that'll open and close it. And then you also, on the mirror here, this will take you to your settings here, Kia Connect settings, and then like a roadside emergency call as well. All right, we are in the back. You have a USB port down here. You have vents on each side, open or close. Some extra storage space here with the net. And then you have your window down here as well. Let's take a look at the trunk. This has a 60-40 split for the back. So I'll show you how that works. On each side you have this pull button. So I'm gonna pull that. That allows you to be able to bring these seats down. And then from there, you just go up on the shoulder, pull it, and then you'll be able to put those down. 